A team of Hurston security is preparing to fly out to Reclamation and Disposal Orange on the surface of Hurston itself. But this is no ordinary visit. They will be escorting Ilyana Petronova Ibris Hurston, executive and minor family member of the Hurstons, as she meets secretly with a rogue Microtech executive known only as Mr. White. On Microtech's part, this is an unsanctioned meeting, and having learned of Mr. White's intentions, they would like Skunkworks to apprehend both parties at the meeting for interrogation. Reclamation and Disposal is a scrapyard sitting on a small peninsula surrounded to the northeast and west by ocean. Within its ground is a central two-story building we believe the meeting will take place in. So, we were dropping into Reclamation and Disposal on Hurston to raid the meeting and hopefully capture the two high-value targets alive. At the time of the insertion, we did not know if either party would have arrived already, and so a cautious long-distance drop was the best option. The high-value targets could quickly be evacuated if they suspected danger. Just gonna dump all of you, how about that? It's gonna be a hot drop, guys. Get ready. Roger. Roger. Katie, can you tell uh, Herbie to drop down? Bravo. Roger. Oh, Somebody has not. their flashlight on. Uh, you may want to turn that off. Everyone check your flashlights. Get ready, guys. Boy. Okay, Alpha with me, moving back. Do we have a direction as to where the facility is from where we dropped? We had some ground to cover, but our freelancer call sign X ray was seeing clear scopes at this time. Bravo, Alpha, we're gonna move up to the ridge ahead and find a spot to lie low. Over. Roger, I'm gonna touch uh, west of your uh, position, Katie. Roger. X ray's cleared, standing by. Hightax is going to the wet, uh, right high ground. Critical going to the left high ground. Another base in the head. Right on the edge of that, there's some good uh, wreckage we can hide behind. Once we got within range of the junkyard, we need our sniper team Charlie to assess whether targets were there already or if we were waiting for them. Bravo Alpha, we have eyes on the junkyard, over. Yeah, this, uh, Roger, yeah, we're uh, just getting into uh, some better positions to hide and uh, wait for the sniper's call out. Okay, Alpha, this looks like a good spot, so I have no one defense. With a hiding spot established, now we would wait. Charlie, Alpha, how are you guys doing over there? Uh, I am set in position. Uh, right I can see the cranes, but I can't see that building from where I'm at. I'm going to try and move to get a better view. I will be able to see ships Please landing, I believe. Potter zero. Roger. <laughs> Just uh, got into position. I do have eyes on uh, both cranes and the facility. Hey fam. Our snipers have confirmed that no ships were on the ground at this time, and were gaining positions they could observe the main building from. From across Stanton, at poor Tressler, rogue microtech executive Mr. White was preparing for the journey. Welcome aboard, Mr. White. Thank you. Okay, let me get aboard here. Mr. White is making his way aboard. Mr. White is aboard. Where's my seat? I don't see any accommodations in this vessel. It would take some time for Mr. White and his security team to reach Hurston, and as they were acting against their corporation, they needed to travel in an unassuming vessel. Mr. White, you have some fabulous boots. Yes, aren't these not excellent? I'm impressed, sir. I'm impressed. And it was already paranoia brewing about their Hurston counterparts, as neither side could completely trust each other. I have a feeling they're hitting us the minute we come out of warp. It's well, no, I can also... drop out warp before the planet. Yeah, drop out of warp before the planet and come up from a different angle because they yeah. know we're coming from Microtech. I do it as like standard practice, like I Beautiful. just do it every single time. Back on Hurston, we were making use of this extra time to reposition ahead of the meeting, including using X-Ray to move a sniper to a better angle. Okay, Alpha, we're gonna use this as an opportunity to get closer on me. Hey, fam. Um... 
Deploy. Wait, who was our fourth recruit? Alpha That's four what? is upgrade. Your three upgrade is four. For your SAR techs, you are uh. east of the target zone. Just doesn't know who is my buddy team. Bravo Alpha, we've moved up to a closer OP. We've got cover on the advance, so we should be able to observe better from here. Over. Roger, yeah. Uh, we can see pretty much the west and the east side if they come in from either of those from where we are. We're not too far from crit. Uh, the only thing we can't see is if they come in from the north. Mr. White was still making his way to Hurston aboard a Metallic Blue 300 series, but theirs was not the first ship we were joined by. Audio ship. Come from R10. Ship's coming in west side. Repeat west side. Looks like 300 series. Roger, eyes on ship. Initial scan, show the site clear. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Hold, everybody hold skill. It's just circling. Getting. We could tell by the colouring immediately that this was a Hurston vessel. Site clear, executive two, landing, sweeping. Landing gear is deployed. Ship is landing. Must be a scout to, see, to confirm that the area is safe before they bring the VIP in. Yeah, maybe. Especially with a her member of the Hurston family. Hurston uh, security is on the ground. I have eyes. They're taking a position at the Gatling gun. What kind of numbers do you see? One, two, I see three so far. All stations, can anyone confirm the HVT is present? But Hurston were playing a little more interestingly for this meeting, and their VIP was aboard another ship. We're gonna be collecting 20% for the rest of our lives if this goes through. Ilyana Ibrisk Hurston was leaving Lawville, and so with both parties now on their way to the meeting, the skunks on the ground would see a flurry of activity at the junkyard in the next few minutes. With neither of the HVTs knowing they were about to be raided, had we hidden up well enough not to be detected? I think I had another ship. Possible second ship? It's definitely a 300 is taken off. Seems like the ship at uh, the facility is taken back off. 300 is airborne. Another ship coming in from the west. Possibly the Microtech HVT. It's another 300. Bring it down, slowly. Level out. Do we think this is Microtech? Uh, from the color of the ship, I would discern that it's us. Yet that you cannot be 100% sure. Bravo's gonna try and move up to the uh, the next pile of scraps to see if we can get a better view. Roger, just be careful, Bravo. If they spot you, they could speak and leave. Roger. Yeah, especially with those. Keep eyes out for the HVT in civilian clothes. Rich, you know, it won't matter. We can buy any vessel we want. Perfect. Nice. Good. Good touchdown. All right. Eyes on both. I see one, two, three Hurston guards currently outside. We really need to confirm the HPTs are present. Roger, checking. Looks like they have not exited the ship yet that I can see. Roger. Have your zero calorie mineral spring water. Yeah, I'll agree to that. Looks like uh, Hurston executive okay. uh, security That's armor with the red eyes. Roger, Charlie. Sounds like we have another ship inbound. Hurston VIP is confirmed. There's a 315P and a two 315Ps. One look at the beautiful already. That would be my contacts. Eyes on another 300i inbound from the west. We have an ETA. Uh, I used to do that. 
Oh, this one is coming wide. Don't move a muscle. It isn't looking at us. At least. Four guards in tow. First we have guard. four Houston guards with this high game. Sounds good. Once the meeting takes place, I will probably... In order to prevent the HVTs from escaping, our first goal was to eliminate their ships. But to do this, we needed confirmation. Both HVTs had disembarked and were at the meeting. Hurston arrived first and was set to greet Mr. White. Got any idea how many railgun shots are taken to take out a yeah, 300 uh, uh, not many. Two or three, we took out a few at Jim's home. Yeah, we're not very far from the ships, and I got uh, two people with railguns. Roger. Before we engage, we need confirmation that both HVTs are present and clear of the ships. Can we confirm this is Microtech or more Houston? Yep. Form up on Mr. White. Take me to where they are there. Three up on either side, one behind. You know what I'm saying? Four Microtech guards uh, exit the ship with the VIP. Never tested it. Can we climb on those? Microtech is confirmed. Full guards plus VIP. Cool. So it sounds like all members are here. Do you want to start sending your railgun people towards me? Roger. Once meeting is confirmed to have begun, Alpha will move. Get ready, guys. Once we get confirmation, we're moving out. Ship Hurston VIP has exited the ship area toward the bunkers. Okay, he lowered his weapon. He's smart. Tested one, two. I hear somebody saying testing one, two. Yes, did I? Okay, good. I think it was the Microtech executive. Oh, good. Welcome, Microtech. This is if Ilyana. Expecting me. The meeting had begun. Now we could start planning out the destruction of the target ships. If anyone was still aboard, they could take off and provide air support. Be advised, there may still be pilots in those ships. And when they start getting attacked, they may take off. Kirsten ship that's parked furthest west does not have a pilot in the cockpit. Microtech does not have a pilot. Priority ship target will be Hurston. Microtech is confirmed to have no pilot. Affirmative. Do you know which Hurston ship it is confirmed empty? Which Hurston ship can you see? Can you see the one that's closer to me or further from me? Uh, crit. Uh, furthest west. Security teams of each side were scoping the place. Hurston had much more of a perimeter mindset. Microtech were very much a close support to Mr. White. Guards, lead the wall. At least one of you on my front. I'm going to maintain door guard. I can't see the main structure. Can you see that grip? They have left. Uh, and are in the main uh, building area. Okay, guys, we'll push ships to junk out the wall. However, they are out of view currently. If I'm... They are well away from all ships. Roger, Alpha is moving. The plan now is for Bravo to engage the ships and our Charlie team to begin sniper fire. Alpha and Bravo were to advance into the junkyard and capture the targets. Bravo Alpha, we've got some open ground to cover here and they may have sniper set up. Request you begin engaging the ships now. Roger, all three ships are like right next to each other, so it's if you can engage one, you can engage pretty much all of them. They're Get ready guys, like, moving north to junk out perimeter. Probably. You want us to start firing now? Hey fam. Roger. Okay, let's go. Two moving. Four moving. Gunfire. Contact. Ship down. Ship down. Okay, straight across. We are going to wall ahead. That intentional? Oh my that god. That is very intentional. Okay. We have hostiles. Hostiles. I have no, no weapon, weapon on, on gentlemen. gentlemen. Oh my goodness! Exec, take cover. 
Take Executive, cover. please take cover inside. Please stay. I just got shot. Zex, stay down, stay down, stay against the wall. All ships destroyed, all ships destroyed. Roger, outstanding work, Bravo. Alpha is preparing to breach. I was not able to get to the sniper position. The Hurston sniper immediately set out for high ground. Our snipers, though, were doing a good job of pinning Microtech and the VIPs in the main building. Did someone, someone want to drop, drop me drop something? something? Uh, I've got a pistol for two. Got shot. Like, stay down, stay down, stay against the wall. Stay up here. But Hurston sniper would soon come into Bravo's firing line as they advanced from the west. We shoot anyone that comes in? Oops, got yeah, hit. basically. Definitely sniper fire. Three set. Two set. Four set. Copy. They conquered down in, in the uh, building. Okay, let's get in there. Cover those sectors. The junkyard offers a lot of cover and angles to defenders. Threats can come from anywhere. <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got yeah. 46 pistol and magazine on the ground here. One microtech down. With Bravo advancing from the west, Alpha would move through the junkyard to the southern flank. Okay, Alpha, we're gonna buddy bound through the junkyard to the main building. Charlie is engaging now, blue is set, red, prepare to move. Remember your calls. Roger, there is a uh, one contact on one mount to the Four north. moving. Up. Or stop. Be moving. moving. Two set. Sorry, can you keep an eye on the uh, mount? Two set. Of us, there was a uh, target up there. Ripped off. Ready, Nold. Four moving. Mid pen. Go, go. Oh, I'm down. High, High right, right. High, High right, right rear. rear. Hurston and Mr. White still did not know who was attacking, so paranoia of a double cross began to build. Should we take hostage uh, of the micro attack executive? If we get the chance. That is a very interesting idea. Ah! But we have no escape plan. All of our ships are gone. V moving. Four shot. Moving through. Movement. Disregard. I have multiple guards down. I don't know if they rezzed or not. Two set. One set. Three set. Mr. White, if you can. Mr. White, if you can get upstairs, run for it. Uh, I... I still can't hear you in-game. Some of Microtech's security team had now made it outside and were preparing to face down Bravo to the west. Ready? Funding. Looks like there are, they've got the we're VIPs moving. on the upper floor. And as Alpha neared the main building, Hurston Sniper would also set up to engage Bravo. You watch your mouth. Someone sold this out. Oop, I got hit, I'm down. I knew this deal was gonna go bad. Never should have fucking trusted Hurston. Never should have fucking trusted Hurston. Where is Mr. White, be careful. Yeah, well. As Bravo reached the interior of the junkyard, Microtech were waiting. Okay. Three moving. Like I got an upper floor. I have eyes on the building. Roger, moving through. Scene. Definitely. Eyes on, red cover, second floor. Ah, these raccoons. Ah! Oh. Well, I'll take down. I do not have a gun right back. I'm alone in the bunker. Mr. White is alone in the bunker. Contact. I can't shoot through there. There's one on the top floor. 
wollt ihr Red Crossing vorher sie removed oh, cover? I saw barrel top floor on that uh, we'll floor. Right. The HVTs were moving upstairs. We needed them alive, so we had to be very careful here. They hug the building and run up the stairs. Yeah, hug. Um, area with by the VIP. Three people. VIP outside with the gun, VIP outside with the gun. Do not engage uh, VIP, we need right. them alive. There's also confirmed sniper on the upper floor through the doorway. Roger. Doorway looks clear. We can see the upper entrance from our side. Where am, Where I, am going? I going? Up the stairs then? Near is down. Near is down. Zero with me. Left is clear. People in the room with Mr. White. Get on comms. White team if Raccoons you can. Raccoons at the door. Raccoons at the door. Friendlies, friendlies. Copy. Four moving. Uh, what's with the upper floor? Did clear. I up there? Nils, we gotta move up there now. Are they bot? Uh, was that a grenade? I found. Ooh, firm. Okay, let's push. Contact. Two and three are hit. We didn't know this yet, but both HVTs have armed themselves at this point, and when the shooting starts, it's easy to get caught in the crossfire. I, I got the I'm down as well. Oh! Alpha with me. Got a civilian body in the doorway here. Oh shit, taking fire. This looks like a handgun. Oh shit, I've got no gun. No no ammo left. I took fire from inside, possibly the HVT. Over here, they were dry on ammo though. PID targets. One of yours alive in the upper have the gun set. and the fucking ammo in my hands at the same time. HVT, HVT, check fire. Ah, oh, they got me. Mr. White was not cooperative and so needed to be subdued. Ilyana Ibris Kirsten had unfortunately been killed during the raid. But even subdued, Mr. White was very vocal about his predicament. They're dragging me. They're dragging me. They're dragging me. They got me now. Oh, they, uh, they ran out of the building south. Oh, I keep blacking out in the middle. Roger. Off grid is still lower level covering doors. Got we gotta track this guy downstairs. That's gonna okay, be a pain. Definitely raccoon. I recognize him. Oh, Tax, you say you spotted another HVT leaving? Negative. Like I said, I saw him, but I didn't have line of sight after they ran to the, uh, after they ran off. Roger. Where was that sighting exactly? South in the direction of where um, I am right now. Hey fam, so we have one Microtech HVT for pickup and one Hurston HVT I believe was killed on the second floor. It was time for X-Ray to return and collect our HVT to be handed over to MT Protection Services for interrogation. But we were not quite out of the woods yet and by now news of a firefighter reclamation and disposal had reached Hurston security and possibly even news that a minor Hurston family elite was involved. I thought it was a VIP. We've got Hurston QRF inbound, uh, Constellation Andromeda, Prep Relevance. A QRF was inbound, but we had come prepared to eliminate ship targets. Alpha, let's move. Robert team advancing. Running a light source from the sky above. Our tax is behind the, the junk pile here. It looks 
like someone might have bailed out of the Connie and their uh, the airlock on the side is open. Roger, Alpha is going to fall into X-ray now for extraction. Roger. So, while the skunks were only able to recover one of the two targets, eliminating a member of the Hurston family is also something worth celebrating. Any information gained from Mr. White could unveil what the meeting was about and why a high-ranking microtech executive was prepared to commit such an act without sanction from his corporation. No doubt we'll be hearing more from this situation as it unfolds. Hurston has intentions towards Microtech, a jurisdiction we are favourable to, and so we'll be keeping a close eye on how this plays out, and intervening on the side of Microtech when needed. I'd like to give a very special thank you to Rufus McGoofus and Packrat. He portrayed Mr. White and Ilyana Hurston respectively. We've got many task forces in York that are solely set up for competitive play, but for me the game has always been more about telling the story than being competitive, and we've just started branching out into scenarios with role players involved for specific characters, and I personally think that these two did an outstanding job of bringing two characters to life. I'd also like to thank the skunks that took up arms as Hurston and Microtech Security. Great work by all, and thank you for sharing sharing footage to be used here, especially Mira Corrin and Kaitha, who were among the security teams for each side. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching, and send out a very special thank you to all of our amazing patrons, who you can see on screen right now. Thank you all for your very generous support to the channel, I am very grateful to all of you for following and supporting what we do, and I am very much looking forward to sharing some of the adventures we have coming up with you guys. If you are thinking of starting Star Citizen, use the referral code in the description below to gain an extra 5,000 credits when signing up for an account. And we'll be back with more from the Skunkworks Org very soon.